All right, welcome to part two. This is gonna be more of a uh, proof of concept video. Uh, I'll show you guys it's actually working. Um, I, did, I did have to switch TVs, uh, but still get the main picture across. Uh, so we're on version 3.55. If you followed my last video 100%, then you'll be at the same spot I am. Um, we're on KMIO's jailbroken firmware right now. And to show you that, I'll go to games and you got that install package files menu and then you've also got this um, it's for downloading your games um, and I've got Call of Duty Black Ops in the game disc right now okay so go to install package files and it's gonna read all the package files off of your USB drive so here's all the ones that are in the video um, so you can just press triangle on here and then install all packages. All right. So now I've got all my package files here. What you're going to want to do first is do this uh, fix file permissions. And the screen just blacks out for a minute and it's fixing some permission issues if there are any and uh... for those of you wondering this does work on a PS3 fat. It doesn't have to be a PS3 slim. Works on any PS3 model as long as it's updated to the latest firmware. Um, so there you go, just restarted. Now it's got my game menu. Uh, <clears throat> so, okay, so every time you restart your PS3, before you run your backup manager, you have to run this LV2 patcher. Um, so you only need to do it once per boot so if you restart your PS3 then you'd have to run it again um, so there you go it says success run the backup manager press X and, yeah, hopefully there will be a backup managers in the future that'll um, not require that um, because maybe they'll have their own LV2 patch built in but for now we have to do that so then you can go over to multi-manager if you want to back up your game discs I've already got all mine backed up but I'll show you uh, how to do that just accept the terms of agreement, there's three of them lengthy alright there we go so here's all my games right here, I've got Call of Duty Black Ops um, Little Big Planet, Odd Nation Racers, and UFC 2010. So the reason why there's two Call of Duty Black Ops is, is because this one, if you can read closely, you probably can't. What that says is um, slash dev for device, and then slash BDD0. It's a Blu-ray disc drive, zero, because it's the first one. Um, and then the next one is slash dev for device and then slash hdd0 because um, that's your hard disk drive inside the ps3 because I backed those up onto my internal hard drive so all these would be hdd0 and then this one's going to be the blu-ray disk so if you were to copy games over from an external hard drive you would just make a folder on your external hard drive called games in all capital letters just games um, and put all your game files in there. Um, there should be, when you download a game, there should be a bunch of files. But if you go back to the main directory, it's um, it's all in one folder. And that folder usually starts with a BLU and then something else. So you put that folder inside of your games. And then you plug that into here. And it will show up on the menu. And, shit, why did I do that? And, um, and then you can just press C to copy them. 
So if I want to copy the game in my uh, game disk right now, I would just press C. Or if I want to copy one from my hard drive to my uh, external hard drive, uh, then I would just press C on that. Um, I mean, uh, O, the circle for copy. So let's copy that. And it says, uh, do you want to copy from Blu-ray drive to internal hard drive? You press yes. But if you want to copy it to your external hard drive, you press no. Then it asks you if you want to do that. External hard drive. And you press yes. Um, I don't have one plugged in right now, though. Um, so that's how you back them up from an external hard drive. If you don't have an external hard drive, here's what you got to do. Go back to... your yeah, well, first... Um, I'm going to show you how to run one because of uh, people who aren't going to believe me. So let's run, um, since I got Call of Duty in right now, I'll run... Hmm, let's do Little Big Planet. It's a fun game. So it gives you this menu here, or this option. Um, it's You press no if you want to go back to the XMB menu, and you press yes if you want to launch it directly from the game. It doesn't always work when you launch it directly, so I always just press no, and it goes back to the main menu. And you can see that now in my, uh, in my game here. It's going to say that, yeah, a little big planet is in, but it's really not. It's really Call of Duty in there, so... So, um, if you don't have an um, external hard drive, uh, it's going to update. If you don't have an external hard drive, it's going to, let's see. Yeah, sorry. If you don't have an external hard drive, you you have to get the the program on your computer called FileZilla. Um, this will make it easy to transfer over your files. So, this is going to go through a huge update, but you can tell it's working. Um, it wouldn't even get to this point if it wasn't. Um, so, just to show you, I'll eject this. And there's Call of Duty Black Ops, but we were just playing um, Little Big Planet. So, um, Uh, okay, so if you don't have the external hard drive and you want to copy your games over that you've downloaded, you go into your black box FTP here. And it says black box FTP server. Um, there's your IP right there. You want to type that into FileZilla so you can connect to that. And once you're connected to it, you can just start copying your files straight over. If you don't know where to copy them to, um, the way I checked is, and this is why I provided this package. It's called the uh, file manager. Um, it's on here. There we go. Calm Genie's awesome file manager. By the way, guys, thanks for all the uh, subscribers and uh, comments already. Sorry it took so long with this video. Um, so, there you go. Go to device HDD0. Uh, that's your internal hard drive. And then you can see all the files in here. Um, it copies it over to this games folder down here if you can see it uh, not the one at the bottom not the games just games <laughs> so that was from my old backup manager that copied them into there just to be different um, so there's all my game folders so this is probably Call of Duty uh, Little Big Planet Mod Nation Racers and UFC um, and then here's all the files you would get from like uh, downloading them and then if you just go back they'll be in this uh, blues folder so uh, that's where you'll copy them over to via FTP um, 
once you have them copied over, they'll just be in your backup manager. So. That's pretty much it. Just remember, if you restart your PS3, to run that LV2 patcher, otherwise you won't be able to go back to your backup manager. <coughs> um, thanks again for all the views and the comments and all that. I really didn't expect to have this video blow up too big. Yeah, I was just trying to show this to all my friends who were asking me to do this for them. And, uh, yeah, so thanks again. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. It's better to message me um, to my actual YouTube inbox than to leave a comment. But, um, yeah, so just let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.